very north spain and it's incredible green and lush and actually kind of cold yeah we have to actually have a long sleeve shirts in the morning time before we go hiking yeah drove here really beautiful mountain roads and there's a river floating next to us so i think it might be disturbing the sound hopefully not yes but navarre this is uh same kind of as Basque country, they are trying to get independence here. They have their own way to actually collect taxes here. And yeah, one of the most richest uh, parts of Spain. And it shows, the houses are really big. They are in pristine condition. They look like mountain houses in the Alp region. region yeah. yeah. Really clean <laughs> <laughs> compared to South Spain. Yeah, it was really nice drive here like i think one hour of 25 or 30 kilometers we came really slowly stopping whenever we wanted yeah and yeah spent the night inside of the some gravel road there's a one house like three kilometers that way yeah oh it's not a house it's a farmhouse farmhouse yeah yeah so pretty good place to spend the night and why we came here is that there's a couple of good hiking routes and generally this area is full of paths in the forest so we might be actually spend a couple of days here just wander around do some exercise walk in the forest yeah enjoy life perfect place for us to be yeah. hundreds of walking trails green lush trees lot of shade no. and also i think this is the coldest part of spain at the moment so yeah. we are in trade and there's a really beautiful cascade so waterfall so we will take a pull with us and we will go see that yes and maybe in the evening time when the rain again goes away we go for another work on the hills yeah around us so this is our plan. Whenever it's not raining, we will go to have some walks. It's incredible how much it rains here. Well, everything is green and lush and you can get the vibe that it rains a lot here. But still we are amazed because we spent so much time in South Spain, which is really sunny and dry place. So now it's like we are in the jungle. <laughs> yes, but it's really pleasant. Gives us a uh, really good mood being perfect here. absolutely perfect place to be when it's summer everyone has warned us about upcoming heat waves yes there are heat wave in next week also in here yeah. so uh, we don't know we are a bit scared but also we are really disappointed at the spanish weather forecast because they are not accurate at all so we made a decision we don't follow them at all so we go by the look, yeah. what it looks like. If this area gets too hot, then we just drive to the Atlantic coast or something. Yes. And we will worry about it later. Yes. Because, because we are happy now here. Yes. Uh, there was a one, or oh, actually three persons now total have told us nobody goes hiking in the Pyrenees in the summertime. Yeah, like it's <laughs> a no-go zone. But we go there, see it, what it is maybe burn ourselves a couple of times in the mountains <laughs> and then learn our lessons yeah. but 
now we're gonna actually take Pula with us and gonna make some walk on the waterfall and then go deep in the river water yes to cool down but good wild camping spots Excellent. ahead of us yeah this mountain areas are empty of people just farmhouses um, farm owners doesn't care if you park overnight here yeah. on the gravel road that leads to their house so yeah good good days of wild camping coming up yeah and this is like a new chapter of our life because we planned to go to Pyrenees and now we came to the Pyrenees but kind of different way and in the wrong section so it's like exciting feeling yes because the highest point of this area is uh, 1000 1, meters uh, it's not that high but we will enjoy the start of the Pyrenees trip the farm owner came again here with his dog yeah shepherd dog because all these fields are full of uh, sheep and they have shepherd dogs <laughs> yeah friendly dog and a friendly neighbor our neighbor's dog yeah yeah so Look at the size of that tree. Must be a really old tree. This forest is really magical. I'm so glad we are here. I have missed the forest so long. It's so much like easier to breathe here. It's really humid though. I don't know if it's going to be a thunderstorm or something because it's really like buggy and well who meet big tree It's a favorite time of our day, eating, and I have a really good news. Now that we are in North Spain, we can find da -da -da -da, kale from the supermarket. And also we did find these ready-made salads that are in sale. So we are going to pimp these. We have a red onion, a lot of olive oil. Then we will put tuna and boil it extra, so it will be a really good meal. Oh yeah, and our avocados are ripe, so one of these and it will be a really thick meal. It's almost half a kilo and there's tomatoes and nuts and uh, good quality salad, so not just iceberg salad. But of course these are going bad soon, so we have to always eat them right away. Eating healthy, nutritious food is not expensive. Not in Spain. We are in treat. Come och et maten sturpa burdet. Family dinner. Sarah has something to say. Eatings are our family time, so they are like no Wi-Fi zones. So no phones while we are eating. 
so we can really concentrate on eating or if you want to talk to each other no i just keep my mouth full of stuff usually not but you appreciate food more when you concentrate on eating yes let's enjoy <laughs>